they moved to my apartment recently into the building, I should say, into the building. And I was telling her about the crime, and I told her uh, how bad it was, the crime. In fact, I gave her a, uh, I gave her a rape whistle, and I told her she should use it. I told her she should use it, if she ever wanted to get raped. <laughs> so I'm still waiting. <laughs> Eventually. So, there's been a lot of crime in the neighborhood lately. A lot of crime. So, in fact, what I did is uh, I gave this uh, good-looking blonde in the, uh, my building a, a rape whistle. I told her to uh, blow it if she ever wanted to be raped. <laughs> So that's where you people are at. Let's hear more rape jokes. <laughs> there have been a lot of crimes lately in the neighborhood, in fact. Uh, so what I did is I gave this, this, this young blonde, blonde who lives in my building, I gave her uh, a rape, rape whistle, told her to blow it if she ever needed to be raped. <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs> but yeah, there's a young woman. Good-looking young woman moved into the apartment building recently, and I was telling her about the crime. In fact, I gave her a I gave her a rape whistle, and I told her she should use it if she ever wanted to get raped. So I'm still waiting. <laughs> still waiting. There's the actually a really uh, hot-looking uh, girl who lives in the apartment below me, and then the building up here. And uh, anyway, I was telling her, I was talking to her the other day, and telling her about the crime situation, and. Uh, Anyway, I told her, I, in fact, I, I gave her a rape whistle, and I told her she should use it if she ever wanted to get raped. <laughs> so I'm still waiting. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know.